Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone How are you today? I hope all of you are doing fine Still healthy and still staying at home So today for the listening for factual communication We are going to continue our materials Especially in TOEFL test Tap, uh, TOEFL test listening strategy last time on last meeting we have discussed about the first skill that is focus on the first sec, focus on the last line or focus on the second speaker today we are going to learn about skill 2 as well as skill 3 in skill 2 uh, the strategy is that to choose answer with synonym so uh, often, the correct answer in short dialogue in TOEFL listening test is an answer that contains synonym or word with similar meaning with different sounds for keyword in the conversation. So in this second skill, you need to pay attention to the keyword. Uh, in the skill one also, you also need to pay attention to the, to the keyword for uh, the second speaker. Here again, in the skill 2, you need to pay attention to the, to the second speaker or to the last line. And you need to pay attention to the keyword for, of the second speaker. Here is the example. If, if on the recording you hear a woman say, why is Barbara feeling so happy? And then the man replied, she just started working in a real estate agent agency so the, the so the keyword in this recording is that she just started working it means she just began working in a real estate agency and then the typical <clears throat> the typical question in the second skill is that what does the man say about Barbara what does the man suggest about the woman for example so the typical question will be what does the man say about or what does the man suggest? So in your test book or on your computer screen you will read she, she always liked her work in real estate. Well, we have to remember the first skill that you should not choose the, uh, the answer that's similar to what you hear on the recording because it's usually uh, the distractor jadi kalian seharusnya tidak memilih uh, jawaban yang bunyinya hampir sama dengan apa yang kalian dengar, for example jawaban A itu adalah distractor karena tadi laki-lakinya berbicara, she just started working in a real estate agency well there is the phrase real estate in the answer A you also found real estate but that is not the answer because it is sound similar jadi kalian harus avoid choosing similar sound for the answer and then because the keyword is just started working so it means she just begin working in new job so the best answer for this is B she begin a new job how about the C? She just bought some real estate. Well, there's real estate again. It must be a distractor. Number D, she bought a real estate agency. So A, C, and D must be not the answers for this question because they sound similar to what you hear on the recording. You should avoid what is sound similar to what you hear on the recording. Yeah. Okay, so you you should find the similarities or synonym of the keyword from the second speaker. This is the skill too. And yeah. <clears throat> so the strategy that you can use in skill two is that as you listen to the last line of the dialogue, focus on the keywords in that line. If you see any synonyms for the keywords in a particular answer, then you have probably found the correct answer. Yeah. So the <coughs> skill to find find the answer with synonym. Okay. Let's do let's do some exercise here. 
In this exercise, you have written script. Not the audio, but the written script of the audio. So usually uh, the direction will be read or will be recorded. So you, when the when the audio read the, the direction, you can see the answer before answering the question. Jadi ketika uh, recording yang mengatakan atau menyanyikan direction, kalian bisa melihat jawabannya dulu. Eh, apa di apa di apa di apa, and you can try to guess what what was the question for this uh, number one, for example. Yeah? So exercise two. In this exercise, underline the key word in the last line of each word dialogue. Then underline synonym for the key word in the answer. And choose the best answer to each question. Remember that the best answer is probably the answer that contains synonym for the key word in the last line of the dialogue. Again, you have to pay attention to the second speaker and then find the keyword and then find the answer with the synonym of the keyword that you have found. Number one, a woman said, Do you, did you see the manager about the job in the bookstore? The man said, yes, and I, and I also had to fill out an application. What does the man mean? That is the first strategy. Focus on the second one. Focus on the man's diet. Then find the key answer. What is the, the key answer of the man? He said yes, and I also have to fill out an application. What is the key word for this number one? had to fill out an application, which means the man also should fill out the application. So, find the synonym. You could say, you got a job as bookstore manager. Mm. B, the bookstore was not accepting applications. Or C, she saw a book about how to apply for jobs. Or D. It was necessary to complete a form. Choose one. Let's see some the answer first. You got a job at Bookstore Manager. You find similar courses. Bookstore Manager is not how I would say it. The bookstore is not a fiction application. Like the word bookstore as a fiction. It's also not the answer, but it's the question. C. She saw a book about how to apply for jobs. She saw a book about how to apply for jobs. Well, she doesn't say a book, she has to fill out an application with the manager. She not actually. She has to be the manager, but she has to see the manager to fill out the job application. So, the best answer for number one is B. It was necessary to complete a form. So, if she wants to get a job in the bookstore, she needs to apply or to fill out an application, which means you have to come by a form, you have to come by the form of the application. So the synonym of fill out an application is just simply a form. Fill out. Fill out means you have to fill out an application, a form. So the synonym of the keyword fill out an application is just simply the form. Okay. And then so we are trying to look for the script is about two o'clock. And the woman said, Who did you work before me? What does the woman ask? Who did you work before me? So the key answer, actually, the key word 
in the real mind. Two, your thoughts before mind. They totally live before your mind. The key, the key word here is before your mind. What should we answer? A, if they could live at mind, is it at mind? He said before your mind. Yeah. He said B, if it is possible to go by twice the clock. Because it's before two o'clock. See, why they cannot live at noon? Well, it, does, it is not the answer to a reflected thought. See, the word noon, it will be similar to what you saw. See, if they could live the room. Mm, well, it is also distracted from the word room. Yeah? Not room, there is no no word of room, so there's no mention of room. So the best answer for this number two is what? Yeah, B. If it is possible to go by twelve o'clock, because the man is there to read uh, the truth at about two o'clock. So he he is there to read before two o'clock. So last one, number three. The man said, if the concept was to come back while he and the woman said, the audience of twelve is for a long time for the person. And the question is why, what does the woman say about the concept? The key word in the woman's speech. The audience applauded for a long time. That is the key words. So many people or the audience are applauding or appreciating the performance. Let, let's look at the answers. A. The performance went on for a long time. B. There was applause throughout the performance. And C. The people clapped on and on after the concert. And D. The audience waited for a long time for the concert to begin. We'll see the answer A. The performance went on for a long time. Well, what is a long time in woman's uh, speech? She said that the audience applauded for a long time after the performance. It means the performance, the performance is well received. So you, the answer A is not uh, correct because it is not the performance that is went for long but the audience applauded long time after the performance how about B there was applause throughout the performance there was applause throughout that is the word throughout it means all the time of the performance everyone is applauding so it is not the best answer for uh, this question and how about C the people clap on and on after the concert. Well, yes, the best answer for this is C because the people clap on and on after the concert. So the key word is that after the performance and here the answer is that after the concert. Clap on and on and also applaud for a long time. Those are similar. Indeed, the audience waited for a long time for the concert to begin. No, it is not right. Yeah. Okay. Those are the strategy to learn about or to answer the the TOEFL listening test short dialogue skill two. That is to choose answer with synonyms. So you need to pay attention to the second line, and then decide the keywords. Find the keywords and then find the synonym of the keywords that you have found. Okay, now please prepare a piece of paper. I will play the audio and then you have to answer the question number one until then. Use this, uh, the strategy that I have mentioned before to find, uh, to focus on the second line. Then find the keyword of the second line or the second speaker then find the synonym of your keywords okay are you ready <laughs> 